In this section, we will see the use of background property. It's a very common property and is used to define the background color to any given element. So let's see how the background area of an element is determined by using background property. All right, let's start by giving paragraph. I will say background property. Now let's give some detailing to it. Here I'll say HTML. Let's say background here. I'm changing the background color of the HTML doc so that you can understand the background property much clearly. Next is the body. I will say width, background and margin. Now for paragraph, I apply background color, width, height and font size. So that's it. Let's run the code now. So you can see that the width and height we have given, the background is covering till that area. Remember background will go all the way to the beginning edge of the border of an element. So any of the element content such as padding will also be considered in the background area. You can also write background instead of background color. The output will still remain the same. Let's check that as well. I will also give some padding here. Now let's see the output. So you see the padding space is also included in the background now. So this is how the background property works.